For that, first we will create a virtual environment and inside that environment we will install this PyTube library. Because it is a good practice that we separate out our dependencies of our Python projects using the virtual environments. So we would also create the virtual environment first and then we would install the PyTube library. For that, the Python should be installed in your system. So to check whether it is installed or not, you can run this python3 space hyphen hyphen version on a terminal. And if you also get something like this in the output, which would mean that python is installed in your system. If you get any error or if the python is not installed in your system, then you can refer the another video which is available on this channel itself. So the link of that video you would find in the description below. So let's now create the virtual environment first. For that we will move to the folder where we want to create this virtual environment. And for this video I would move to the downloads folder. Here I would create the virtual environment using this command which is python3 space minus m v e n v and I would give the name of the virtual environment which I want to create. So let's suppose we want to create this pytube underscore install this virtual environment so it is created now so as you can see this pytube underscore install this folder is created and inside this folder these are the folders and file are present now in order to use this particular environment we will have to activate this first for that we will have to source one file which is present inside this bin directory so let me show you that also so if you see this activate file so we will have to source this activate file in our terminal and here I will source this file using this command which is source and I will have to give the path of that activate file now. So I would say pytube underscore install and I would say bin and I would give the name of the file which is activate and I will hit enter now. So as you can see pytube underscore install is written here it means this particular environment is activated now. Let's now install the pytube library and for that we will use the pip command here. So I would say pip install and pytube and I would hit enter now. So the installation has begun and it is successfully installed. So as you can see successfully installed pytube and this is the version of pytube library. Let's now verify whether it is installed properly or not. For that we will list down all the libraries which are installed in this pytube underscore install virtual environment. For that I would run this command which is pip list. So here you would see this pytube is present and the version is 15.0.0. Let's now try to use this particular library in a python shell. So I would open up the python shell using this python3 command. Here I would try to import this pytube library. So for that I would write import and pytube I would hit enter now if after hitting enter I do not get any error which would mean that pytube library is successfully installed and we can use this in any python script. So I would hit enter and as you can see we did not get any error here which means it is ready to use. Let's now print the version of this so I would say pytube dot underscore underscore version and underscore underscore so now we have got this 15.0.0 which is same as the version which we have got previously when we have listed all the packages so the pytube is installed let's now exit from this particular python shell so for that i would run this exit and these brackets and to exit from this particular virtual environment i would say deactivate so that i would get out of this particular environment also and i will be in the global environment now i hope you would have found this video useful 